to do a quick little demonstration on uh, Mathematica and specifically you know, if you've done other coding languages before, either in LabVIEW or MATLAB or C++ or Python or uh, any other kind of crazy computer science programming that you've done before, you might have heard of uh, for loops. So for i equals, and then you do repetitive functions. Um, Mathematica, we do that a little bit differently. There's a, there is a for function in Mathematica. Actually, let's go ahead. We can look at the help menu right here. And let's go ahead and look up. There is a for function. So you can do for loops and... Let's go ahead and make this full screen so everyone can see. You can do for loops and operations like this, but um, it's not the best way that I've used, uh, that I typically will, you know, do repetitive operations in Mathematica. So let's do an example. So I'm going to extract this data, extract, 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 the zip file. Okay, I've got some amazing, nice data in here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all these files, and I'm going to put them together into a list. So this is going to be my list, and control D. So if I want to do repetitive operations, um, you know, we all know now, and you hopefully you've watched some of the other videos where if I want to import my data, I'm going to type fully import data, and let's take a look at what it looks like. Data, and we have some of these values, so we could kind of flatten and then again do all of our other typical um, kind of procedure on this. So this is actually corrosion data. So this is voltage. So we could just plot, you know, plot, list this plot, this plot. And we can make the plots look pretty too, but for now, I'm just going to look at the data. We could do a histogram. You could do lots of uh, other procedures. We could do this line plot. This, we could do a histogram. You know, all the functions that we want to do with the data. I could take, you know, the mean, get a value. I could find the max, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Ooh, wind's blowing a lot uh, out here. I could find the minimum. Uh, all these different uh, kind of values. I could do commonest. And it's going to be all because they're all unique. Uh, anyways, so let's say I wanted to plot, you know, for that first example, let's say I wanted to plot these, all these data on kind of one chart. Um, I don't want to kind of, uh, I might not necessarily want to kind of uh, assign a variable, for example. I might want to not want to do this operation over and over and over again, like AG equals this. I might just want to plot all the data in my list together. So again, you want to do this repetitive operation, right? I want to kind of import each of these files kind of sequentially. sequentially. So again, you want to do something like a for loop, but in Mathematica, one of the cool things that we will utilize is a table function. Table will essentially do our for loop operation for us. So I want to do table, list, and I want to import uh, list data. I want to look like this. I want to flatten this. I'm putting in multiple operations. You don't have to kind of do this. And again, uh, but I'm going to import that list. I'm going to flatten, and I want to repeat this. I want to do this import from i equals, oops, so I'm going to import from i equals 1 to the length of my list. I want to import everything, everything in the uh, in that list above here, this variable list. And when I do that, you can see, well, I've got all of those kind of data files now together. So I can save that as my, you know, corrosion data. So I've got that, and I can plot each of these now on a plot. So I can do this line plot corrosion data, and we can see all those values. Again, this access here just kind of do, uh, does it sequentially. If we wanted to, we can kind of create a time data sheet as well um, to kind of transpose that. But you can see all this data kind of, and then you can dictate which you know colors correspond to which values. But this is a kind of a nice way. This idea of doing operations uh, here, and it's not just uh, doing the data too. So let's say, for example, I wanted to find the maximum value now. So I could do another uh, table, so max corrosion, and I could do table of max operation on corrosion data from i, it was from i from 1 to length, actually, let me close this, i from 1 to length of corrosion data. And this will give me those max values. This could give me my mean values. This could give me my standard deviation. Anything you want. So again, if you're doing repetitive functions, table. Table, 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 table. Uh, save your time, save your effort. But again, double check. Uh, double check it once, especially if you're new to Mathematica. Make sure your code's up and running. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.